open for me? How could a little piece of gauze like this end up nearly choking you to death during a routine trip to the dentist? 911, what's the location of your emergency? Hi, we have a patient who has aspirated a throat pack and we can't get him breathing. John Santilli went into cardiac arrest at his dentist after he swallowed this throat pack made from gauze. This here is the piece of gauze that went down my throat. I'm so lucky to be alive. He actually got lucky. At least he's still alive. Jared Wakefield was declared brain dead after his dentist allegedly left a piece of gauze in his throat while pulling a tooth. We spoke to his grieving brother, Lance. He had a gauze like this um, in his mouth during um, basic oral surgery and um, he choked on it. His family is now suing Provo, Utah dentist Dennis Bloom, who denies any negligence. Lisa Guerrero spoke to him. How did a piece of gauze get left behind in his throat, sir? Well, I'm not going to answer any specific questions to the accident because it's still an ongoing investigation and case. We use gauze in dentistry all the time. In Nevada, a young woman named Kimberly Ortiz also choked to death on gauze in the dentist chair. Same with businessman Merrick Lipinski in California. Dentistry professor Jimmy Kilimitsoglu demonstrated on a mannequin how easy it is for gauze to become lodged in a patient's throat. Sometimes what happens is as you try to get it out, you can lodge it further into the airway. Look, the gauze is blocking the airway. Under normal circumstances, patients have their protective reflexes. So they can gag, they can choke, they can cough. But with a sedated patient, they lose those protective reflexes. So they can't help us determine if something's getting lodged in there. A little bit wider. He That's says there was a simple technique that could have prevented these tragedies. All it takes is a piece of dental floss tied around the gauze. When this piece of gauze is tied to a piece of string, this piece of string is our lifeline. And it's as easy as pulling this string, and this could keep our patients safe and save our patient's life. Lance Wakefield says if that procedure had been followed, his brother would be alive today. Two feet of dental floss would have saved his life. It's a tragic loss. The American Dental Association tells us they don't have a recommendation on the use of gauze throat packs. It says it is up to dentists to decide what materials to use during procedures.